hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals to 17 and we will solve this problem for the values of x and the value of y so here we need to find the values of x and y uh, so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we rewrite uh, this equation as here you have x to the power of y and now first i can multiply and divide the exponent of uh, x by 2 and we will write it as x to the power of y and its whole power 2 over 2 minus similarly we will take uh, uh, we will multiply and divide the exponent of y to the power of x and we write y to the power of x and its whole power 2 over 2 it is equals to 17 and now in the next step we will use here the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so we will use uh, here this nice law so according to this law we will multiply the exponent y by 1 over 2 and we will write this uh, expression as x to the power of y over 2 and its whole squared minus we will write this as x to the uh, y to the power of x over 2 and its whole squared equals to 17 so uh, in the next step uh, uh, we will uh, just make some substitutions here in order to convert this uh, exponential equation uh, into the uh, simplest form uh, so that uh, here i can just take a equals to x to the power of y over 2 and we take uh, b equals to y to the power of x over 2 so now we can take uh, these two substitutions in the above exponential equation uh, so uh, when we substitute these two values here then the above expression will become in this form a squared minus b squared equals to 17 so uh, here you see that we have a squared minus b squared be the uh, very well known formula and you know about this one uh, so we can open this formula and you will get here a minus b times of a plus b equals to 17 so uh, here you focus on the left hand side and you see that we have uh, two factors which is multiplied by each other and in the right hand side we have only one factor mm, so now first we will uh, convert our right hand side into the uh, two uh, factors form uh, so we multiply or we can write this 17 as 1 times of 17 because you know that 1 times of 17 will be equals to 17 so these are the only unique factors of 17 so now we compare both of the sides and uh, we will uh, equate a minus b equals to 1 and we will write the other factor which is a plus b equals to 17 so here i can uh, named uh, this factor as equation number one and this factor as equation number two so now our next claim is to find the values of a and b uh, and to by solving these two equations so uh, you see that if we add equation number one and equation number two then you will easily got you see here this b are gone and we add a plus a which is 2a equals to 1 plus 17 equals to 18 and this implies that we have a equals to 9 so this is the our first value uh, of a and now we can find the value of b so uh, we will subtract these two equations so when you subtract equation number one and equation number two then you will uh, get its output in the form of uh, when you subtract these two here then you get in this form so these are gone and you have minus 2b equals to here you have minus sign minus 16 
and this implies that the value of b will be equals to 2 times uh, 2 minus 2 is divided by the right hand side and you will easily get the value of b which is 8 so this is the value of b so here we have uh, uh, two values here uh, so the value of a equals to 9 and the value of b equals to 8 so now we uh, recall that the values of a and b so in the start of the problem we will take here a equals to x to the power of y over 2 and b equals to y to the power of x over 2 so now we will back substitute the values of a and b uh, and you will get here Mm, so the value of a is x to the power of y over 2 equals to 9 and the value of b is y to the power of x over 2 and it is equals to 8. So now we can solve these two equations and we will find the values of x and y. Uh, so here first we will take the square on both of the sides. So uh, you will... Mm, when you take the square on both of the sides then you will uh, write a, it in this form this square and this square and similarly we will take the square on this side as well so uh, now in the next step uh, you will see here this 2 and 2 are uh, gone or are cancelled by each other and here you get in the left hand side we have x to the power of y equals to 9 square and 9 square equals to 81 and similarly these 2 and 2 are gone and here you get y to the power of x equals to the square of 8 will become 64 and in the next step we will write here uh, 81 as uh, 3 to the power of uh, and you know that the factors of 81 are 3 to the power of 4 and similarly the factors of 64 are 4 to the power of 3 so when you compare these two sides and these two sides and then you will uh, easily get the value of y equals to 4 and the value of x equals to 3 so these are the over required two values of x and y so uh, now in the next step uh, we will check this these values uh, is the values of x and y satisfied the given question or not so our given question statement is uh, or written uh, as x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals to 17 so this is the over question statement and now we will put the values of x and y here and we we check the behavior of both of the sides so when you put the values of x and y so you see that x equals to 3 so it will becomes 3 to the power of 4 and y to the power of x will becomes 4 to the power of 3 equals to 17 so 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 minus 4 to the power of 3 equals to 64 equals to 17 and when you subtract 81 minus 64 it will become 17 equals to 17 so this shows that uh, x equals to 3 and y equals to 4 satisfies the given question statement and this is the our final conclusion and final answer of this problem so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos